Assalamu alaikum dear students, this is your teacher Kashan Ali and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, about uh, the starting of the Second World War and its impact on the Indian politics. The World War II was started in 1939 and since the Britishers were involved on two of the major borders, one in Europe against Germany and one in, Japan, uh, one in Asia against Japan, so Britishers were too much occupied with this uh, huge war which lasted for next six years and uh, uh, in order to take the advantage of the situation the Congress government which is uh, considering itself as the only ruling party in India it resigned immediately in order to give a tough time to the Britishers that uh, British, uh, they, their thinking was that the Britishers are far too busy in having a war with two major powers of the world and uh, they they might feel it real difficult uh, once they had to govern their own country in India as well and since Congress is not helping them so it will be easier for Congress to just throw them out of India and uh, perhaps uh, they, they were to some extent they were right as well but Britishers were far too better political administrators than the Congress thought at that moment and they continued their rule in India. On the other hand the Muslim League was thinking differently and Jinnah uh, has given a few demands uh, again which can uh, really contribute towards the rights of the Muslims and the political uh, enhancement in the value of the Muslims. In the in running the uh, running the Indian subcontinent, but British kind of disapproved all these things. So the relations absolutely remained strained between the uh, Muslim League and the British. Moreover, Congress uh, and British British relations were not good as well. But uh, both the parties they just uh, refused the Hitler's Nazism and the fascism, uh, which was totally based on uh, national extremism. But uh, they haven't gone, so we can say that they hadn't gone to, so far to just uh, oppose the British. But at the same time, I think we were, I would like to say that they, uh, both parties decided to just uh, go against the Britishers' future policies. Moreover, uh, on uh, Jinnah's demand and call, the Muslim League celebrated the Day of Deliverance the day of freedom from the Congress tyranny. It was warmly welcomed by the Muslims throughout India since Congress rule was one of the worst rules in the history of subcontinent. It was totally biased with the Muslims and Muslims who were uh, in, in their minority areas and Hindu majority areas faced some real difficulties in practicing their religion and uh, getting their basic rights. So it was the right time for Muhammad Ali Jinnah that uh, he, uh, he, he did it uh, on a very good time. He actually hit the iron when it was hot. Once uh, he has got full support of the people on the day of deliverance on 24 December 1939. And once he has got the full support, he decided immediately that uh, he had to now work on something uh, uh, which can uh, just decide the future path of the Muslims of subcontinent. Uh, he decided to give uh, Pakistan resolution, which was firstly known as the Lahore resolution. They gave it in the presidential gathering of the Muslim League on 23rd March 1940 at Minto Park, Lahore. And uh, in this gathering, for the first time, the Muslim leadership has demanded a separate country, a separate homeland for the Muslims of India. Before that, there was no such demand made by uh, the Muslim leaders. But uh, due to the Congress tyranny and uh, gathering Muslims on one platform, it was the necessity of the time to unify the, uh, uh, the future goal of the Muslims of India. And uh, it uh, became quite a thing which united, which not only united the Muslims on one path but their cause was uh, absolutely the same throughout the subcontinent and they were working under Jinnah's leadership for something they dreamt of, something they believed in. What, ne uh, what happened next? Uh, I, will, I would like to share it in my further videos. Stay tuned. Thank you very much.